One of the challenges many home buyers have faced is competing with investors for single family entry level houses, but the Biden administration just announced a plan that would give regular owner occupant buyers an advantage over investors. My name is Chris O'Connell, I'm a mortgage loan officer, and I have lots of buyers pre-approved and making offers on houses only to find themselves in multiple offers from other buyers some of which are investors or non-occupying buyers, but part of the Biden administration's housing supply action plan is actually going to give occupying buyers an advantage when it comes to buying government owned properties. So if you're a normal buyer buying this for yourself or your family, you're actually going to live in this property, you have a 30 day window before anyone else can make an offer or before any other investors or non-occupying buyers. So where do you find these government owned properties? Well, I am going to show you one government website where you can view these properties and see what's out there. All right, so if you simply go to Google and put in HUD homes for sale, you see, you will get some ads at the top, but what we're looking for is the HUD.gov website. So homes for sale, HUD.gov and you pull up this website. Uh, HUD is, by the way, um, the Housing and Urban Development Department. So the HUD website has these homes for sale listed down here. So you see single family homes for sale. Um, this is actually one to four units um, for sale, but you can see HUD here has the vast majority of the houses for sale. Uh, but then you actually have the uh, VA has homes for sale, uh, FDIC has homes for sale, the IRS. Uh, these are all you know seized properties or foreclosed properties from these different government organizations. And you can click on some of these and check these out. But what we're gonna do is go to the HUD website because you're gonna see the vast majority of the stuff on, on HUD's website because housing and urban development, if somebody forecloses on an FHA loan, those foreclosures are gonna show up on this website. So you can look at any state, uh, but we're gonna look at Minnesota here, and we're gonna pull up all of the listings in Minnesota. So one thing to notice, there's seven listings found here, which doesn't sound like very many, but if you're somebody who thinks that the uh, housing market is gonna crash and there's gonna be all these foreclosures, then this is definitely a website to keep your eye on because you'll see more and more listings that pop up here if there are more foreclosures that that are coming on the market. Um, but let's not look, you know, get distracted by the houses. Um, let's just look at an example here, and and this is Hennepin County, New Hope, Minnesota, Hennepin County, which is kind of a major uh, area in the Twin Cities. And if we click on here, uh, we can see this listing. And a couple things to notice right off the bat here, and hopefully you can see this, eligible bidders, and this is an auction, this is technically an auction, uh, eligible bidders, owner occupants, nonprofit and government agencies only. Um, so again, not open to investors yet. Uh, this just recently came onto the market uh, about a week ago. And so we've got 30 days to make offers on this property before any non occupants uh, can make an offer on these properties. And one thing to specifically mention about HUD homes or HUD owned properties is that they accept FHA financing. A lot of uh, sellers in this market at a competitive market, they don't like to accept FHA offers because of the condition of the property. They don't want the FHA appraisal to come in and you know require a bunch of repairs and stuff like that. But on HUD homes, they encourage you to use FHA financing. However, you are still subject to dealing with any of the repairs that are required. So if the house is in rough shape or it simply has chipping paint on the exterior, you're required to uh, make those repairs, fix those issues. But the good thing about uh, HUD Homes again is not only can you use FHA financing, but you can actually use FHA 203K loans, which are purchase rehab loans. So you can get an FHA loan to purchase the property and then you can also roll in rehab funds into that loan as well. So that's a, a, a important factor or, or that's a really cool feature of these HUD homes. And like I said, this is an auction. So when they put these houses onto the market, there's a certain amount of time that you have to submit your offers. So in this case, you can see right here at the top, 
Submission deadline, 612. We got three days, three and a half days left approximately to submit our offers. And the good thing about this is you can actually go in and look at these houses. Of course, they have the pictures here, but you can you know, work with your realtor to schedule a showing and actually go look at these properties in person, which is different than a normal auction or like if you go to the county and you're you're bidding on foreclosed properties, you can't like schedule a showing and go look at auction properties. Typically, you're 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 typically buying them sight unseen. You don't know what you're gonna find in these properties. But with these HUD homes, you can actually go in here, schedule a showing, look around, and and you could even get an inspector in here if you wanted to. Uh, so that's another cool feature of these HUD homes. And right over here, you can see on the right side of the page here you can see 203k eligible yes so they they do allow fha financing a lot of situations if you're looking at properties on the uh on a normal market they may or may not accept fha or fha 203k financing so that's cool you'll notice that you know there's all price ranges here um from ninety two thousand to seven hundred thousand and you can sort these as well. And of course you could look up here, there's more information about the properties, amenities, three car garage, um, addendums for you know your realtor and or yourself, if you're representing yourself, you can look at these uh, documents that they make available. Um, when you're submitting an offer, you do have to fill out some paperwork here. Uh, so it's important to work with a, with a realtor who can uh, help you out with that. Obviously, you, know, you can look at a map, see where this is located and even agent info they've got um, the listing agent they're going to assign these properties to a listing agent to facilitate these sales and you can actually look at you know who the broker is and you know you can contact them if you have questions or you want to look at the property or you can use your own agent obviously so let's go back to our original hud.gov homes for sale website and scroll down here and look at some other departments that have homes for sale uh the va doesn't put their homes on here fdic there's nothing on there let's look at the internal revenue service the search tool is pretty archaic but if you type in houses houses in minnesota and see what comes up oh we got some listings here 17 acre island on lake mink maple lake oh dang what else we got here we got an airplane hangar. Let's go back USDA and then you click on how to buy and then click on single family housing. So this is going to be your next biggest source of homes for sale is the USDA. It used to be after the Great Recession or after the uh, housing crash in 2008, 2009, all the way up to 2012, you would see a bunch of properties listed on this website at any given time. Now there's only a few of these listed, uh, but there is some turnover in these listings. So when a new one comes on, they put them on the website. When the old ones sell, obviously they take them off. Uh, so keep an eye on this website um, for updates. And also these properties are listed on your state's multiple listing service. So if you have like an MLS or something, um, these properties are gonna show up there too. But it's nice to know which ones are HUD owned properties uh, because you want to know what you're dealing with and what your options are. Um, and you can go directly to this website to see, you know, time frames and when you can make an offer before other investors and stuff like that. Also located on the HUD.gov website, if you scroll down, there are links to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac foreclosed properties that are for sale. I'm gonna be talking about those properties in my next video because they are a little bit different. And there is one additional perk that you wanna know involving your closing costs when you look at these properties. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for updates so you see that video when it comes out. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in watching other home buying related videos, check out this video uh, to better prepare you to buy your first home or your next home.